July, 2054 AD. The Earth was caught in a great battle between unknown alien forces. Their weapons were terrifying and powerful beyond human reckoning. Our planet was overwhelmed, its surface reduced to ash and rubble in the blink of an eye. The Coalition government knew the war was coming. In response, they prepared the Earth Life Colonization Project, Project Exodus. Interstellar arcs were launched all across the planet, from every major city on Earth. Bravely, we leapt from our cradle, our home for the last four and a half billion years. But most of the Arcs never even made it out of the atmosphere. Only a small handful managed to escape. Among them was our ship, the White Whale. After leaving Earth behind, we spent two years wandering in space, searching. We thought of ourselves as the lucky ones, the pioneers who would settle a new world. But our past caught up with us, literally. The alien blitz was unrelenting. If not for the efforts of a lone hero, we would never have survived. Our ship took heavy damage. We lost control. With our flight systems down, the White Whale was pulled into the gravitational field of a nearby planet, its hull shattering and breaking to pieces as we plummeted toward the surface. Since then, two months have passed. Attention, external access confirmed. Disengaging stasis in 10 seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Releasing hatch. Please stand clear. Hey there. Looks like you're all in one piece. Careful. Just take it nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to reactivate.
Your pod is the only one around that landed intact. Good thing I found you. My name's Elma. You want to tell me yours? You don't even remember your own name? It must be the stasis hangover. That's not good. Just try and focus, all right? Good, there we go. What else do you remember? It'll come. In the meantime, I'll get you up to speed here as best I can. How are your limbs? Can you move? We'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, all right? First things first. You'll be needing a weapon. There you go. All right, let's get going. Most of the White Whale's life pods didn't survive the crash, like this one. You're one of the lucky few. Right. You don't even remember the White Whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your homeworld. Or rather, it used to be anyway. Unfortunately, it was caught in a battle between two alien forces. And destroyed. Ring any bells? Don't feel bad. It's one memory I'd like to forget. I know. It's been following me for a while now. I didn't want to alarm you, but we're going to need to defend ourselves. You up to the task? No choice. Engaging. Lay down some fire for him. Let's see him chew on this. You're not half bad. There's plenty of work back in the city for someone who knows how to handle a weapon, you know. Hey, I'm not trying to pressure you into anything, all right? It'll be your decision in the end. But anyway, we can talk more details later. For now, let's keep moving.
me strength. The rain's starting to let up, just in time for sunrise. Follow me. I promise you're gonna love this. Wild, huh? They're all indigenous, as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together. Call this planet Mira. You won't find it on any star chart. But it's our new home. Recognize the habitat unit? That's where we're headed. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. We can jump if you like. You could handle the fall. But the indigens down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. That said, whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide. 